Hey there, Trailblazers. So in this video, we're going to go over what you should expect to find on the AMP section of the TEAS test, hopefully giving you an idea of what it is you need to study for. So first, we're going to go over some of the chemistry that happens within the body. So enzymes are special proteins called catalysts that lower the activation energy for a chemical reaction to occur. These are important because it allows the body to do various types of chemical reactions without burning up a lot of energy. So for every one enzyme, you have one substrate, kind of like a lock in its key. To recognize an enzyme, look for the suffix ace. So for example, lactase is the enzyme that only breaks down lactose, a type of sugar. Next, we're gonna talk about vitamins. So vitamins are enzyme cofactors. Essentially, when bonded to an enzyme, they allow the enzyme to operate properly. So if you're suffering from a vitamin deficiency, then your enzymes aren't working, which means you get sick, kind of like scurvy when you have a vitamin C deficiency. So in our LibGuides, we have a handout of the various vitamins, their functions, and what the disease that result from their deficiency. You also want to know that vitamins are separated by being water-soluble or fat-soluble. Do they dissolve in water or do they dissolve in fat? Okay, so now we're actually going to go over real quick how to study for anatomy. So the key to learning anatomy and physiology is repetition. The only way you learn and retain what you know is by doing something that requires you to recall the information you studied. Because by doing so, you reaffirm what you already know, and you can discover what you should work on. You can do this through various methods, through flashcards, blank labeling tables, or just practice tests you find online or in your T's prep books. Now, don't just stuff yourself with information. It's hard to remember standalone facts. To really lock in what you learn, you have to give the information some type of meaning or connection. Now, this connection could be anything. For instance, maybe a disease you learned about was in an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Now, this might seem trivial, but by remembering that, you can more easily recall what you know about the disease. So by giving yourself information meaning and by forming connections, you can more easily recall the information that you studied. I think of it this way, you remember stories better than just facts. Lastly, just remember that you don't need to know every minute detail. Understanding the principles of a subject, like how the nervous system works, is much better than learning all the small things, like the name of every nerve in the human body. So by doing that, you can do a long way and really keep the information that you study. Next, we're gonna talk about anatomical positioning and how the body is oriented. You really wanna know how the body is sectioned and you wanna be able to tell where one organ is relative to the other. So for instance, the wrist is distal to the shoulder. This is because the shoulder is farther away from the trunk than the shoulder is. So you definitely just wanna know how you can describe one body part relative to another. So next, we're going to go over the regions of the body. You want to know the different sections, and I highly recommend that you use one of those blank labeling sheets because just reading this page isn't really going to help. However, forcing yourself to fill out these pages over and over again, you're definitely going to remember the sections a lot easier. Okay, so now we're actually going to go into the systems of the body. But before we do, I recommend that you ask yourself these three questions when you're studying for the Batiste test. You want to ask yourself, what are the major organs of this body? So what makes this system unique? Like for instance, the nervous system has the brain or the cardiovascular system has the heart. You wanna ask yourself that if this organ wasn't there, then would this system still be that system? Next, you wanna ask yourself, what's the major function of that system? What does this system do? So for instance, the uh, respiratory system uh, oxygenates the blood while the digestion system breaks down food. Simple stuff like that. Next, you also wanna ask yourself, what's the major diseases of the system? What happens when the system malfunctions or somehow the organ is damaged? So by asking yourself these three questions, you'll go a long way in the TEAS test since a lot of the questions orient themselves around these three major things, okay? So first things first, we're gonna talk about the skeletal system. So the skeletal system provides structure, support, and protection of the internal human body. Inside the bones, you have bone marrow with red marrow being responsible for blood cell production. Importantly, you want to know that bones are where muscles attach. When your muscles move a part of your body, they're actually moving your bones in a, in a way to speak. So some key things you definitely want to know when going to the T's test, you want to know the different types of joints or how different parts of the bones connect to each other. So for instance, in the shoulder, you have the ball and socket joint, and in the knee, you have the hinge joint and those various types. You also want to know the different types of cartilage and where you can find those different types. Lastly, you want to know overall, and this is true for any system, the diseases of that skeletal system. So for rickets, osteoporosis, stuff like that. Okay, now we're going to talk about the muscular system. 
So the muscular system allows for the movement of the body. It also offers stabilization and generates heat for the body when it's cold. Or for instance, when you're sick, it generates heat so it can help fight off infection. So for this system, I recommend that you learn the major muscles of the body, but not really learn all the little muscles in the body. If you learn the major muscles, that'll get you a very long way. Okay. So some key things you wanna know are the different types of muscle. So cardiac, skeletal, and smooth. Smooth is found in digestive and what they do. The difference between a tendon and a ligament. So a tendon is muscle to muscle, while a ligament is muscle to bone. Okay. So next we're gonna talk about the control, the nervous system. The nervous system is the control center of the human body. It uses chemical reactions to stimulate muscles to contract and glands to secrete and other higher level functions. So when going to the T's test, you wanna know what an action potential is and how neurons use it to communicate, what diseases of the nervous system exist, like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stuff like that. You wanna know what neurotransmitters are, the different types and their specific purposes, like dopamine. You also wanna know the anatomy of a nerve cell, being able to tell the axon from the dendrites. Okay, moving on. Moving on, you have the endocrine system. So this is the hormone system of the human body. It secretes specific hormones from specific glands to do various things like body development or puberty, digestion, metabolism, all sorts of stuff. But the key difference is the endocrine system does it as a much slower rate than the nervous system does. Okay, so things to study. You wanna know the different hormones and their purposes. You also want to know the different diseases of the endocrine system. So for the endocrine system, usually the diseases that result are when too much of a hormone is produced or too little of a hormone is produced. So for example, diabetes is when insulin is either too much or too little. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we're going to talk about the cardiovascular system. So cardiovascular system is the transportation system of the human body. It delivers nutrients and removes waste. You also want to know the difference between a vein and an artery. So a vein is to the heart, while an artery is away from the heart. You also wanna know the major anatomy of the heart. So you wanna be able to identify what the atrium is and what the ventricles parts are. Okay, next we're gonna talk about the respiratory system. So the respiratory system handles the gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide within the blood. So blood comes from the heart into the lungs and becomes oxygenated there. So the key things you want to know is how the lungs connect to the heart, what the effects are of smoking, so what specifically happens when you smoke and how it damages the lungs. You also want to know how the lungs stick to the chest cavity and how they remain contacted, and when you breathe in, how they stay contacted. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about the digestive system. So the digestive system mechanically and chemically digests food, absorbs nutrients, and expels waste products. So some key things you want to know are how food is moved and processed by the human body, the common enzymes that are used in the digestion process, and of course, the various diseases of the stomach and colon. Okay, so lastly, we're going to talk about the immune system or the protective system of the human body. The immune system offers protection from various infections. It also helps eliminate mutated cells and begins the cellular repair process, like after you get a cut. So the things you definitely want to know are the different types of white blood cells and how white blood cells are made. You also want to know that what the different types actually do. You also want to be able to recognize what an immune response looks like. So when you, when you know, like for instance, when you get a cut, you recognize that it's red, it's hot, it's swollen, and it's sensitive. You want to know what those four things are and why they result from immune response. You also want to know the diseases of the immune system, like what our diseases are and the common ones like arthritis. Okay, everyone. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you have a good idea of what to expect in the test and what you need to focus in on your studying. If you need any more help on the specifics of the test and its materials, please come visit the ARC or make use of our online resources.